Hey guys, welcome back. This is Weekly Pattern Wednesday, and you're looking at what I'm going to show you how to do today. This is a form of a square. It's called four square, um, and I think this was a beautiful um, square to do. And I can see this actually in an afghan in many different colors. So um, it works in a couple different stitches and a couple different um, uh, what do you call it? Um, kind of like stitch patterns where it skips in a specific pattern to where it gives it a very unique look. So I enjoyed doing this, so I thought I would share this with you today. So grab a hook and any yarn of your choice. I am using a five millimeter, and what we're going to do is work in a magic circle. So you're going to make a crisscross in your hand like this. Fold your fingers down, grab your yarn, and pull that through. And you want to grab a hold of that circle, straighten your yarn out just like this, and then you're going to chain one. Now inside this circle, I want you to do eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and you can close that circle up as you need by pulling on the beginning piece of yarn. Six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to close that almost completely. Now you're going to turn this over and you are going to join into that first single crochet. All right. Now round two, I want you to chain one. And I want you to go right back into that same space for a single crochet. Okay, it kind of locks that there in place. Now I want you to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to be working on the petals at this point. So you want to skip this next single crochet and go into the next for a single crochet. Okay, chain five. One two, three, four, and five. Skip the next, go into the next for a single crochet. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next, go into the next for a single. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next to go into that beginning one where we started and do a slip stitch. And you should have now four corners. Okay? So now for round three, what I want you to do is slip stitch into that first chain five, which is here. So pull your yarn through and through. You're going to chain one and in this same space gap here you're going to do one single crochet chain two then you're going to do four double crochet in that same space so one two three and four okay now what you need to do is chain three jump over to this next chain five space you're going to do five double crochet here one two three four and five okay so chain three and we're going to jump to our next chain five space for five double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. Chain three, jump into the last one for five double crochet. One, two, 
Oops, I have a knot. Of course I have a knot. Why wouldn't I, right? <laughs> okay, three. Four. And five. Okay, so now you're going to make sure to do that chain three and you're going to slip stitch into that second chain which is going to be right here. Okay guys, I'm going to make just a small correction because I think it would work out better if I did this. Okay, so where we joined right here, pull that out. Okay, and where you ended up with your chain three you're going to go ahead and go in this chain three space and you're going to do a single crochet then do your chain three okay and then you're going to go back and join just like we did okay so we're going to leave it that way now we're going to move on to row five okay so now what you need to do is you're going to slip stitch into this chain five space you're going to chain one and you're going to do two single crochet okay now you're going to go inside the same space for six double crochet so one two three four five and six okay now you're gonna have these two little chain three spots you're gonna go into the first one for a single crochet then you're going to chain three go into the next one for a single crochet and then you're back to another chain five so you're going to do seven double crochet here in this chain five space so two three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now you're just going to repeat that. You're going to go into this first chain three for a single crochet, chain three, then you'll go to the next chain three space for a single crochet and then you're going to jump right back into doing your seven double crochet you're going to do that process two more times get back around I'll meet you back up there okay guys I'm back now I have completed this round so I'm going to join in the second stitch up then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go right back into that stitch for a single crochet now round six you're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to skip the next double crochet, which is here. You're going to go into the following one for a single crochet. Okay? You're going to chain five. Okay? And then you'll skip the next double crochet, and then you'll do a single crochet in the following. Then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to skip this next one and go into that last one for a single crochet. Then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to do one single crochet in the next chain three space, which is here. Then you'll chain three. One, two, three. And then you'll do one single crochet in the next double crochet, which is here. All right. So now you're going to do that all the way around for a total of four, let's see, one, two, you'll, you'll do it four more times. Okay, so you're going to go back to your chain three, so one, two, three, skip that double, go into that next one for a single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip the next one for a single crochet in the following one chain three one two three and then go into that last one for a single crochet okay then you want to chain three and do a single crochet in that chain three space which is here okay then you'll do another chain three 
and then do a single crochet into the beginning double crochet of the next section. All right. Now you'll do that again, and I'm going to stay with you because this can get a little complicated. So let's chain our three again. Skip the next double crochet, go into the next for a single. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next one, go into the following one for a single. And then chain three. One, two, three. Skip the next one, go into the last one for a single crochet. You're going to chain three here. All right. Then you're going to go into that chain three space for a single. You're going to chain three. And then you're going to finish up with this dub, uh, first double crochet here. You're going to put a single crochet there. Start over with your chain three. Skip the next double. Go into the next for a single crochet. Chain five. Skip the next, go into the next for a single, chain three, skip the next, go into the next for a single, chain three, okay, and then you're going to jump over to that last chain three space for a single crochet. You're going to chain your three, and then you're going to join in the first single crochet which is here, and slip and slip. Okay? Isn't that beautiful? Let me back it up a bit here so you can see better. And this one's smaller than this one because I did use a finer yarn here that I had specially ordered. So you have both of these, and these colors work really well together. This would actually make a beautiful colored afghan. Okay, so this, guys, is called your four square, and I'm assuming because you're working in four separate squares. You know, you have your outside square, and then you have your two inside squares that you're working in. So if you paid attention as you made it, you'd see that the whole, um, the whole project itself is made in a total square, four different rounds. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. I loved doing this. I had to share it with you. So um, if you have any questions or comments or if you happen to get lost at any particular place, you can either rewind my video or send me a message under the video. And I'll be glad to help you if I can. Um, until next uh, weekly pattern Wednesday of next week, I wish you all happy hooking. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.